I have a fly on my head, or there's a fly on my camera, he's gonna be joining us for the video. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got a really exciting lip swatch party for y'all today and a little mini review, first impressions type video on the brand new Maybelline The Loaded Bolds. So I found a whole display of these. I believe there are 20 shades in the whole line and there were 18 on the display. So I think I'm missing the solid white and the solid black colors, but everything else I have here to show you, they were $5.59, did I already say? At Target is where I found them. So $5.59 and I'm just gonna run through the different colors, show you swatches on my hand, show you swatches on my lips and just do a little lip swatch party. So let's get into it. Okay, this first one here is number 755 Nude Thrill. And this one is just a really light nude. Like this is like, whoa, light nude. So there it is. We have a friendly fly in here with us. So if I have a fly on my head or there's a fly on the camera, he's gonna be joining us for the video. So we have a friendly fly. Anyway, Nude Thrill, 755. This one is really cool and unique. This is 760 Gone Grage. And that's pretty much exactly what it is. It's just, like a grayish color. It's like a, like a mauve-y, mauve taupey, gray beige sort of a color. I love it. I really like it. I think it's very unique, especially for the drugstore and just an edgy color. Another cool edgy color. This is number 765 gray over it. Gray over it. So this one is less mauve pink and more like a brown sort of a gray color, but just really kind of like 90s, edgy, cool. I really like this one too. Again, very unique. This one is really pretty. This is number 770 Mauvet. I really like that name. This one felt like really extra creamy and soft in formula, like more so than the other three. I don't know what's different about this one, but it just really seems super soft when I applied it to my lips, but just a really nice formula. I like this one. I would say formula wise, these are not as matte as the creamy mattes, but not as shiny as like their regular lines. So kind of like right in between, kind of seems like a satin demi matte sort of a finish. I like that color though a lot. This one is 775 Raging Raisin. And this one is kind of like just a wine sort of a shade, like, like a wine. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. It's a wine. It's a really pretty color though. Um, I don't really, I was gonna say it looks patchy, but honestly, like on the lips, it didn't apply patchy. In the swatch, it looks a little bit patchy, but on the lips, it was really nice. This is 780 Coffee Addiction. And this one is like a really warm, kind of like reddish brown is how I would describe it. And it really, I mean, it kind of looks a lot like coffee. It really does. And I love coffee and I kind of have a coffee addiction. So I like the color of this one and I like the name. I think it's cute. And again, it's kind of a unique color because it's that like I don't know it's a brown, but it's got that reddish tone to it. Really pretty. Then we have 785 Chocoholic, and this one is darker and more kind of like cool toned than the other one. You can see it's just like a really dark chocolatey brown. Really beautiful. I mean, these are so like soft and comfortable. Love them. It's a really nice color. And I didn't mention the outside packaging on these is like a blue. So really pretty, kind of matches the other, you know, Maybelline line, except it's got the blue on the outside. So yeah, there's Chocoholic, really beautiful color. This one is number 790 Midnight Merlot. This one is really beautiful too. I feel like I'm saying that about all of them, but this one is kind of like a berry purpley sort of a wine color. So there is that one. This one isn't super unique because you know you probably have some colors like this in your collection, especially if you're a lipstick addict like I am, but it's a really pretty color and it does apply really nicely on the lips. In a swatch, it looks a little bit patchy, but on the lips, I didn't find it to be that way. Just a really beautiful, 
purpley wine color. Then we've got number 795, Smoking Red. And this one is just like a kind of a dark classic red. So again, this one's not super unique, but it is a really beautiful red color. So if you're looking for just a bold kind of deep vampy red, this one is a really beautiful option. But again, it's not like crazy unique. This one is definitely one of my favorites. This is number 800 Dynamite Red. And it's just a really beautiful like classic red. In a swatch, it kind of looks like just sort of mid-tone, but on my lips, I feel like it's more of like a warm retro sort of a red. Really, really beautiful. Not like, again, not crazy unique, but just a really beautiful red. I feel like that's, you know, the thing with reds. I mean, when you're getting into reds, it's a red. You know what I mean? There's different tones of reds, but it's not gonna be crazy unique like a gray sort of a lipstick would be. But if you're looking for a red, this one's amazing. This is number 805 Orange Danger. And this one I really kind of had to build up quite a bit to really get it to be more opaque. This is like a bright neon orange. I mean, basically, that's pretty much what it is. A bright neon orange. And it, it's funny because I feel like it kind of doesn't match the rest of the lipsticks. Like I feel like the other ones are pretty edgy where this one is more like light and bright and neon-y sort of, you know what I mean? But it's a pretty shade, it just isn't my favorite from the group. And if you watch my channel, you can probably guess that this is one of my favorites. This is Fiery Fuchsia. And this is just a really beautiful, bright fuchsia color. It is intense and beautiful. Let me get a swatch. We're on my wrist there, so it's a kind of a little bit weird swatch, but hopefully you can see it. It's just a really pretty kind of like, purpley fuchsia. I love it. Really, really gorgeous. Good color payoff on it. Opaque in pretty much one or two passes. So that's a beautiful shade. Ooh, I like this one even more. This is 815 Rebel Pink. And this is even more of a purpley fuchsia than the other one. Actually comparing it to the other one, the other one has a lot more sort of berry red to it. And then this one is a lot more purpley. So, so that one's like almost like a raspberry. And this one is more kind of like a purpley fuchsia. Really, really beautiful. I love that one. This is number 820 Berry Bossy. I love that name. Super cute. This one is kind of a, like a berry, like a berry mauve. Sort of like a muted kind of a, a berry sort of a color. It's whiny, kind of like a wine, then sort of like a berry, has quite a bit of purple in it. Really pretty, again, looks kind of patchy in the swatch, but it worked out nicely on the lips. Looks really nice, I like that one a lot. We're getting to the point where my lip swatches are getting a little bit hairy because of so many. So if my lip lines look a little scary looking and off, it's because we're doing a lot of lip swatches here. <laughs> this one kind of seems like a problem child of the group. This is number 825 Blackest Berry. I love the color of it, but it's kind of patchy. This one is sort of like a dark gray purple. It's really a pretty unique color. I really love the color on it. You're just gonna have to probably work with it a little bit to really get you know full opacity on your lips. But again, I like it because it's unique. It's just not something you see, you know, in a lot of brands in general, but especially from the drugstore. This whole line has a very kind of like edgy, almost Kat Von D sort of a feel to it. I love it because these are just a lot of unique colors in this collection. This one again was a little bit patchy. This is 830 Violet Vixen. And I really kind of had to do some building up to get more opacity on this one. Um, this is just a really bright, fun purple. So if you are loving purple lips, if you like something unique and edgy and purple, then this is the one for you. This one's a lot of fun. This is 835 Sapphire Siren, and it's kind of like a blurple. Like it's, it's pretty much a blue, but it has quite a bit of purple in it. It is fun. I like this one a lot. This one has quite a bit of shine to it. So this one's really almost like, looks more like a cream finish. 
This one um, was a little bit difficult to build up. I noticed as I kind of like built up more of it, it would sort of like wipe away a little bit of the color. But I mean, when do you ever see a color like this in the drugstore? So I'm not mad at it. And then lastly, we have number 840 Midnight Blue. And this is just a really beautiful navy blue color. I really like this one. Again, this has quite a bit of shine to it, kind of more like in between a cream finish and a satin finish, but just, oh my gosh, such a fun blue. I mean, if you're looking for a blue lipstick, you can find it in this line, so love that. All right, guys, so that wraps up all the swatches for the Maybelline The Loaded Bolds. So I absolutely love these. I think they are so cool, unique, different, just colors you don't normally see in the drugstore. I think they're comfortable on the lips. Probably not gonna be the longest wearing lipsticks, but really comfortable and nice lipsticks. Love the packaging. They're affordable, so they're a total win in my book. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what your favorite shade was that I showed. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.